Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Coach Deb. Welcome to Thursday morning, Stick Mobility Flow. Today, though, is a little bit different. Welcome to gym. <laughs> and we're featuring different um, fitness tools that can be paired up with the sticks. Um, I know the other coaches are working with the mace. Um, I will be working with these guys right here. So the, the, those are um, called Liebert equalizers, and it's all body weight resistance. So if, if the strength portion of the class is going to feature prep work for the exercises that I will do and demonstrate using your own body weight. One of my favorite tools along with this. So even if you don't have the equalizer bars, a lot of this class is mostly the mobility work with the stick, okay? So let's get this started. <laughs> All right, always starting with the three planes warm up. You have your tall stick. Take a nice wide horse stance and let's start opening up with the breath and warming up our spine and prepping for movement. Let's go ahead and take a big inhale up and exhale. And again, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, hold that stick up high. We're gonna take it to a nice horizontal plane here and just move whoops, side to side. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to hit the lights above me. Side to side, just warming up the spine. Bring it center, lower the stick right in front of the chest, and let's take a nice transverse turn. Let's take it to the right and left. Just get some breath work going. Big inhale, exhale. Nice. Lower that stick right to the tops of the thighs. And we'll take a little hinge and get into the back of the legs. Take a big inhale, exhale, hinge. Feet parallel and slowly, slowly come on up. Wrap that stick up high. Take a little wall slide behind the head and neck. Reach up, wrap it around. Let's go back into that hinge. So take a big inhale, exhale, hinge. You're pressing the stick right into the tops of the thighs here. So a little tension there into the thighs, keeping that connection. Slowly come out of that. Again, one more time, reach up high, open up and take a nice little wall slide. Let's go ahead and let the stick rest across the shoulders. Open those arms, I call this scarecrow. And making just little circles to start. Preparing the shoulders here, a little mobility in the shoulders. Just little circles. And then reverse. Reverse that movement. Nice. Bring those hands in. Reach up. And now bring the stick right in front of the chest, right across the sternum. We're going to do that same circular motion, but this time bigger. So the stick's in front of the body now, and let's go ahead and make big circles. This feels good, just getting some lubrication going in those joints and those shoulders. The focus today for our strength, featuring the uh, equalizer bars or body weight, the focus today is upper body. My next class will feature lower body, the one after that will feature core. But today it's gonna to be more focused and strength on the upper body. All right, let's place that stick right at 12 o'clock. So we're gonna drive that stick in, 12 o'clock. Strong drive right into the floor. You wanna make sure there's a strong connection. We're gonna do a standing rest pose. Take a big inhale, pull the stick into the body. Exhale, lengthen. One more time, soften those knees, inhale, drive the stick in, inhale, and exhale, reach. 
really lengthening through the spine, feeling it through the lats, and slowly, slowly come on out of that. So we're going to wake up the wrist joints. I'm going to take, take you into some um, movement that's going to focus on activating those wrist joints because when we're working with the Liebert, it is also a lot of grip involved. So we're going to do a move called casting. In fact, I'm going to feature the short stick with this. Long stick is fine, but I'm just going to feature the short stick for this, this one. So casting, just like you're casting for fishing, arm, I'm not a fisher woman, but I know what casting is. <laughs> So extend that arm out, standing it nice and tall. Start to just dip that hand down, feeling that right in the wrist. And just, just do a few of these. The key is keeping that arm straight and the movement is just in your wrist, just in the wrist. Bring that stick up right to chest height. I'll show it to you this way. Going right into windmill. And again, keeping that arm straight. If you need to support with that other hand, do so. Try to focus on the movement right through the wrist joints. And you're gonna feel it in the elbow a little bit too. Nice, let's switch sides. So casting, arms straight out. Stick at angle and focus on the ribs. Little dip, and reflection and extension. I'm feeling a little snap, crackle, and pop in those wrists. This is a good one too. We're on our devices so much with the computer and texting. It's just good to get those wrist joints moving. Let's take it right to the windmill, and just rotation here. Again, try to keep that arm straight. Perfect. One more. And let's go back to the tall stick if you're working with a short. Going into some radiation moves, some hanging monkey moves. Stick is on the right side. Right foot forward, left back. You're gonna reach up to the grip. Not too wide, you don't wanna overextend. Keep a soft bend in the elbow. Split stance, I'll show it to you this way, nice split stance here. And start to just let the body hang. You're gonna rely on your grip here. Start really activating that grip. And just ease into this. You're opening up that left hip flexor. Just a simple hang for now. Just a static hold. Just hold, 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 and ease on out. Let's do that one more time. I'll show it to you from the front. Take a big inhale. Exhale, drive that stick into the floor like you're drilling a hole. And then your body weight is gonna drive it in even more. And just hold. Long, opening up a long lateral line in that right side. Strengthening your grip here. Ease on out. Let's switch sides. So I'll show you to you from an angle, coming into that split stance. The stick is about just, just maybe five, six inches from say your heel, your front heel. Drive. Positioning and placement of the stick really does matter. It really makes a difference on the feeling and the movement. And so listen to cues for placement, especially with grip too. Just hang, opening up that right hip here. Ease on out. One more, and then we're gonna to move to two sticks to finish up our warm up. So here we go. From the front view, take a big inhale, exhale, and hang. 
You might need to adjust your stance. The focus here though is, is that left lateral line here and that right hip flexor. And just hold, 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 hold. Breathe, breathe into that hip. Take a big inhale, exhale. Very important with flexibility um, training to really utilize your breath. Get that oxygen flow to those muscles. Slowly come on out, nice. Okay, grab the second stick. We're gonna start moving a little more dynamically here. Take a wide sports stance. Sticks are parallel. I want you to think one o'clock, 11 o'clock. You've got 12, open them up just a bit. Your, your grip is right about, I wanna say cheek height or chin, chin height. So drive the stick in, drive. We're starting to prep Prep that upper body a little bit too. Start to flow to the right, the six follow, and flow to the left. Just a nice lateral lunge, side to side. Get some dynamic movement going. So the key again, making sure those sticks are strongly driving into the floor. All right, bring it back center. Pull the sticks in just a little bit closer to your body. Pull them in a little closer. You're gonna lift your right hand. Right grip is a little higher. Left is a little bit lower. Start to move to the right. As you do so, that left arm extends, right arm pulls back, and come back center. Let's do it again. I'm going to shift over, making sure I'm in the camera here. Let's reach and come back. Lateral lunge, reach, and back. One more time. Nice. Let's switch it up. Left hand higher, right. Lower, again, it's right about cheek or chin height. Six are parallel. Let's lateral lunge to the left, reach, come back. Keep driving those sticks in. Two more, inhale, exhale, reach, and come back, one more. Nice. Keeping that wide stance, we're going to open the sticks out a little wider, still parallel for now, and actually to get um, better traction or better support, you might want to bring them closer to your big toe joints here on your feet, so nice and wide here. Your grip is about cheek height. Start to push the sticks forward, pull the hips back. Feel that stretch. But again, you're driving them into the floor, radiating them right into the floor. Keep those knees softened. Let's start some dynamic movement. Moving to the right and left. Now, it's tricky because the sticks are gonna wanna move a little bit, so you, when you feel them shifting, you gotta drive them into the floor. Start moving, going a little deeper in your range of motion. Reach and switch. Nice. Let's do a couple more. And come back center. We're gonna do one more, which is the human sail. So again, keeping those legs wide, with the breath, inhale, as you exhale, pull the hips back, reach the six forward. You really feel that linking now. Your grip is a little bit higher, just a little bit higher, a couple inches higher than where you were. As we pull out of this, I 
I want you to stand up nice and slow, draw that navel into your spine, little C curve in the spine, and open into a human sail. Come on forward. Big inhale, exhale, open, each time you open, maybe try to go 5-10% deeper range in that motion there, and here we go, last one, inhale, exhale, and open, hold that stretch for a moment, hold it, you're driving the sticks into the floor, looking at just to get that front line, And come on back. Just go ahead and stir the pot a little bit. Just get some circular motions flowing in. And let's reverse, circle out. Nice. All right, we are ready to move on to our feature tool, the equalizer bars. The prep work is gonna be with one stick. Move this out of the way. So again, these bars, body weight resistance. Um, there's many variations of bars like this. These are the e uh, Liebert ones, but I know there's different companies out there. So if you have these bars, pull them out this month with me and work with me on this. Now again, if you don't, that's okay. You're gonna, we're gonna be doing a lot with the stick two here. So our first strength move is gonna focus on pectorals. We're gonna work in a push. So with this, to prep for this, taking the stick, we're gonna go into a sagittal bow. So facing to the right, you're in a nice split stance. Right leg forward, left back. Place that stick right about two or three inches from your front, front foot. Right hand high, and we're gonna activate with the left. Drive that stick in. Now with the breath, big inhale. As you exhale, push. Push into that sagittal bow. So you're pushing. A little bit of a pull on top to, too, but I really want you to focus on the push. Ease on out. Shake it out. So really keeping your hips squared off and facing forward and push. Here we go, we're gonna do two more. Take a big inhale, exhale, and push. Ease on out. Now this third one, we're going to do some reps. We're gonna take about, I think we'll do six reps of pressing. So not just a nice symmetric hold. Drive, take a big inhale, exhale, push into your sagittal bow. Now start that activation and push. One, two, three, four. So again, this is a little bit of prep work, strength, to work body weight resistance with the bars. Ease on out. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's switch sides. Working unilaterally right now, but when we go to these guys, we'll be working bilaterally. Okay, here we go. We have got the left leg forward, right back, left hand up, or whichever way you're at, doesn't matter. So, just switching sides. Drive us against, it's a couple inches from that front foot. Drive. You've got your hand up, getting ready to push into that sagittal bow. Take a big inhale, exhale, and push. Hold, 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 hold. Ease on out. Let's do it again. Take a big inhale, exhale, and move into that sagittal bow. Maybe this 
Get a little deeper in this. Breathe. Ease on out. Okay, so this is why we did all that wrist work. We're, gonna, we're really relying on our, our strength in our grip in our wrists. So third one here, we're gonna add those reps. So drive, take a big inhale, exhale. Move into that bow, and here we go. Bring that elbow into the body. Push one, push two, three, four, two more. Hold, ease on out. Nice job, guys. Okay, here we go. Something different. <laughs> Grabbing your bars. And if you, if you don't have these, you can check out what's going on with this. And um, it's a great home tool to have. But again, if you want to just keep working in that sagittal bow, that's fine. All right, so bringing the, the, the bars together. We are going to push again. We're going to go into an incline press. So I love these because strong support here. Hands right in the center. I'll show it to you from two different directions. We're not going to do that many reps because I want to show you several exercises. So here we go. Feet about hip width apart and just lower chest right into the equalizers and press out of it. Let's do six. Two. I didn't know I was going to have to work out today. <laughs> it's great. Four. Of course, I had lifted weights yesterday. I'm very sore. <laughs> now, with these, you can go to town on these. I mean, it really supports you where you can really achieve your push up goals. Take a little rest, shake it out. I'm going to show it to you from the front so you can see the spacing. One more set. So they're parallel here. You're in that incline position. You're right over these bars. Here we go. We're going to do, I think we'll do eight. I'll go a little faster. So lowering. Actually, you want to keep the elbows in. So this is going to, this is going to target a little more triceps too. And push. Press away. Two. Three. You can do these on the floor. You can do your push-ups on the floor. I should have said that. <laughs> Two more. And go ahead and just pull the hips back. Little recovery. So I'm only going to feature two sets of these exercises. Not too many reps. But when you're working on your own, you can do as many as you want. All right, let's move these out of the way. Grabbing our stick again. We're gonna prep for an incline row with these guys. So I'm choosing bow and arrow to really get into the lats and opening up that lateral line. So taking a six to three o'clock, traditional bow and arrow, and drive that stick in. It's about 10 inches from your right foot. Inside arm, 90 degrees. Reach up with that left hand, strong grip. Push your hips to the left with the breath. Take a big inhale, exhale, and push. Open. Now really opening up, really, really opening up that left lateral line. Okay, so getting ready for some incline rows. Ease on out. Soften those shoulders. Let's drive again. Here we go. Hips come to the left. Big inhale and exhale. Push into your bow and arrow. Hold, hold, hold. Ease on out. All right, this third one, same thing like we did with our sagittal bowl. We're going to do a little activation. Just small presses. Drive. Hips come to the left. Take a big inhale. Exhale. 
push into your bow. Let's go and press one, two, three, four, small movement, five, six, hold, ease on out. Oh boy, <laughs> so today is a lot of strength work. Like I said, more focus on upper body. Let's take it to the opposite side. So stiff is at nine o'clock. Inside hand, 90 degrees. Reach up, drive, drive. Hips shift to the right. Take a big inhale and exhale, activate, hold. Nice, strong hold here. Ease on out. Shake it out, roll the shoulders out. Let's do it again with the breath. Inhale, hips come to the right. Exhale, move into your bow. Just hold, hold, hold. Ease on out. Okay, this third one is going to be that activation again. So drive, reach up. All right. Hips come to the right, big inhale, exhale. Move into that fold. Now let's try that little activation. Press one, two, three, three more. Hold. And ease on out. Whew. Okay, you guys, we're going back to the equalizer bars. Again, keep working bow and arrow. If you don't have these guys, like I said, we are featuring just different tools that you can work with, prep work. So, I haven't done these in a while, but we're, I'm gonna do them for right now. Incline rows, working those lats. And it's gonna be a pull. So having a seat right between the bars here, right between them. And I think you guys can see me, okay. So grip is right at the top. And I wanna make sure I can, my arms are straight up, straight up. So not at an angle here. I am going to be rowing. <laughs> so reaching up, get that strong grip first. Before, this is a super important um, tip when you're working with the bars in this exercise. You don't want to raise your body up until you bridge up. So you're in that bridge. And with the breath, big inhale, exhale, pull. I'm only doing six. <laughs> Two. Three. Oh boy. <laughs> And six, slowly lower, and then lower, imprint that lower back, shake it out. So again, think about it with that bow and arrow prepping. It actually feels good, we're doing that prep right before this. This is a tough move. And I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> All right, I need to do these more. So nice. Your, your arms are straight up. You're right underneath the bar here. Bridge up. Make sure you're in that bridge. Feet planted. Here we go with the breath. Row. One. I'm going to be sore. <laughs> A good sore. And six. Lower. Slowly lower that lower back. Pull those knees in, nice you guys. So just featuring body weight resistance. Actually, it's my favorite way to train. Not really big into lifting, but if you can lift your body, you should be able to lift your body before you lift weights anyway. Body weight resistance training is key. Okay, moving on. Y'all, let's do the stick. <laughs> okay, here we go. So now we're going to work into triceps. Like I said, focus is upper body. Taking it, I like just this is a tricep prep, and it's a tricep bow and arrow. So taking the stick to the right, and it's in front of your right foot, maybe right in front of your right big toe, about two or three inches from it. 
high grip. And I want you to just hinge your body forward, hinge forward. With that left hand, reach over right to the center. And we're gonna activate. Drive the stick in. And here we go. Press. Hold. Ease on out. Shake it out. Actually, you might want to bring the stick in a little closer to the foot. It's not too far away from it. Here we go. Drive the stick in. Hinge. Hinge. And with the breath, big inhale, exhale, activate, hold. Feeling it in that tricep. Ease on up. All right, our third one is going to be the reps. Six of them. Hinge forward, reach over, center, big inhale, exhale. Push into that tricep press, and here we go. Press one, two, three, four. You're only moving it a few inches. Five and six. Ease arm out. Whew. All right. Let's get that opposite side. Take it to the left. Strong grip. Hinge forward. You have a soft bend in the elbow though. You don't want to be here. Okay, so keep a soft, softened elbow here. Hinging forward again. Reach over with that left hand. Keep the hips squared off. The movement is just in the arm. Big inhale, exhale, push. Oh boy, I can feel this, I'm sore. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> Ease on out. Let it go. It's not from today. I worked out really hard yesterday, not realizing I'm gonna have to work with these today. <laughs> so here we go, just shake it out. Hinge forward, reach over, take a big inhale, exhale, push, hold. Breathe, keep that breathing strong, big inhale. Slowly come out. Third one is going to be the reps. Active reps. All right, hinging forward, soften knees, reach over. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, press. Let's go. One, two. Two more. And hold. Ease on out. Nice job. Shake it out. Moving to our equalizer bars. Actually, this is one of my favorite ways to do Arnold's, to do tricep dips, is with these bars. I'm going to show it to you at an angle. So they are parallel. And you're stepping right in front of them. Hands on top. Lots of grip going on here. Legs just about hip width apart. We're going to do eight. You can do as many as you want, but I'm going to do eight. Here we go. So dipping. Sit in that chair, get that form down, and push out. It's one, two, and two more, seven. Eight, ease on out, just shake it out, little recovery. We're gonna do one more set. So again, this is just a basic tricep dip we're doing, nothing fancy. Very efficient. And like I said, it's just the height of the bars, everything just works really well to really work this exercise. All right, here we go. Dip. Sit in that chair, push, one, two, nice, <laughs> two more, and slowly come on out, awesome, shake it out, nice job you guys, so, one more,
strengthen for the shoulder. So we work chest, back, triceps. We are going to work shoulders now. But with this prep, we're going to work with one stick and do a little dynamic movement for the rotator, rotator cuff here. You're going to take that stick to 12 o'clock center. Your grip, I want to say, is right about cheek height. Cheek height. Drive. Drive it right into the floor. Extend that arm straight. And just start to wrap the arm across the chest. And then open. And again, wrap. And open. Now, you're not just stretching, you're driving the stick in. So working those rear delt lats there. And warming up that shoulder. If you want to add a little movement, you can. If you want to add a little lower body, just getting a little more dynamic. And let's take it back center, switch arms. So I'm on the right side now. Drive. Start with the wrap. So just wrap it across. If you want to assist it a little with that opposite hand, feeling that stretch. And open. And wrap. Open, one more time, wrap it across and then we'll add a little movement to that. Keep driving the stick heavy into the floor. And now let's just add a little lower body with that. So taking it side to side. A couple more, drive. Bring it back center, and we're gonna go back to the bars. And then we're gonna finish with a deep stretch ninja. All right, just showing you a couple shoulder movements that you can do with these equalizer bars. Since we were working unilaterally, we're gonna work unilaterally. These, I'm trying to remember, these weigh, I think about eight pounds. So they, there is some weight to these. So taking, we're just gonna do six presses unilaterally. So pressing up one. And I think the thing that's interesting about these is that the shape of them is challenging you. Your core is having to work a little more too, just to stabilize the movement. Challenging your proprioception there, you know, your awareness of space around you, it's a little different. Let's bring it over and lower. Here we go, let's do eight. Press one, two, yes. Nice. If you want to add balance, this is kind of a nice little challenge. And go ahead and lower. And that is it for our strength, featuring, featuring the body weight resistance equalizer bars, working with the six. All right, guys, we are going to end with some deep stretches. We have a few more minutes here. I'm going to take you into Ninja. I'm really going to open you up, since, especially the upper body, since today's focus was really heavy on upper body. So taking a wide stance and bringing that stick right on the inside of that right foot, drive, reach up with that right hand, again, softened elbow. Take a big inhale, exhale, let's hinge forward. Hinge. Just hold this, this stretch for a moment. Get some deep breath work going. Left hand reaches over, just lightly grips the bot towards the bottom. We are getting ready to move laterally 
to the left. So take a big inhale, exhale, lunge. That right arm slightly pulls behind you. Hold. Slowly come out of it. Back to that hang. We're going to add on to this to get through, to stretch out the lats a bit more. So we're stretching out the anterior chain. The next move is going to focus a little more posterior. So reach. Take a big inhale. Let's go into that lateral lunge. Exhale. All right, inhale, come on up. Now your right arm wraps around as that right knee bends, wraps around to the left, getting to the lats, triceps, and reach. Go into that lunge. Come on out one more time. Get an anterior side, anterior side. Big inhale, exhale, reach. Come back center, ease on out. Nice. Let's get that opposite side, left side now, or left, six at the left. Reach up. So this is a partial ninja flow, but the main thing I'm, I'm focusing on is this stretch here. Okay, since we did so much upper body. Here we go. So take an inhale, exhale, hinge. Really feel that opening up. Slowly come on out. We're going to add on strong grip with the breath. Inhale, exhale, reach. Lightly grip. Let's laterally lunge right over to the right. Left arm slightly pulls back. And come on back. Hold this here. Now we're going to go into that posterior chain part of this. There we go. Reach over. Inhale. Exhale. Pull. Now start to wrap that left arm over, lunging to the left. Really need that stretch right through the lat, delt, tricep, reach. Let's do one more. Shift over. And wrap across. Reach. And just hold. Feel that stretch. Really try to extend, getting into that deep stretch there. And come back center. Slowly, slowly, ease on out. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, shake it all out. Shake it all out. We are going to end with a little bit of a flow, just rolling out those shoulders a bit. So just roll the shoulders back. And then I want you to start to roll the stick across the hips. Just a little more of a dynamic movement here. This is our final, final, final. <laughs> We're gonna dip the stick down to the right. Just dip and just wrap behind the head and neck. I've gotta make sure I don't hit lights above me. I'll go into squat. <laughs> this room is the ceilings. I gotta be careful. <laughs> Ooh. And bring it across. If you have no lights above you, I want you to really extend. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take it to the left and just slow wrap behind the head and neck. A couple more. I'm just being cautious. Of the lights up right above my head. So you guys go for it if you have those. And bring that stick right to 12 o'clock. Standing rest pose. 
Let's take it to the side, a little angle, so you can see a little angle on the stick. Take a big inhale, pull the stick into the body, and exhale, lengthen. From here, let's go into a little posterior tilt. So pull those hips towards the stick. And reverse. It's a little cat-cow, anterior tilt, posterior. One more. Get that posterior tilt. Keep that C curve in your spine and slowly bone by bone. Slowly to the crown of your head. And that concludes our class today. You guys, thank you for joining me. I know today was different, uh, pulling in a different fitness tool. So I will be featuring the Liebert Fitness Bars in conjunction with working with the sticks, just to give you guys something different. So if you know somebody who has bars, grab them for my next class. If, um, I won't be on next Thursday, actually. I'm gonna be away. But the following Thursday, I'll be back on the last three weeks of June. And the next one, I'm gonna focus more lower body strength. And the next one after that will be more core. And the last one will be total body. So thanks for joining me. Follow us um, at you, on our YouTube page. Well, all our workouts live live on there. They're also on IGTV. Be sure to tune in to all the wonderful podcasts that our coaches talk to amazing fitness professionals. If you want information on the sticks, you can go to Debbie F. Gleason. I have a promo code. And the next class I do, I'll probably, I should have a code for the Libra Fitness Bars too. But if you want to check these out, go to LibraFitness.com. So, stickingworldy.com too. So, have a great day. Mwah. Ciao.